I'm inside White House Machine Tools showroom. Behind me, we've got a range of brother machines. It's a very popular machine that they sell here. I'm going to meet with Tom Hughes, who's a sales director. This is a new model, and we're going to find out a bit more about it. Hello, Tom. How are you? Hello, Paul. Great, thank you. Good, good. This is the R650. It's a new machine to Brothers Range. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's an extension of their uh, Speedio range, uh, twin pallet machine. Uh, in fact, this is their largest machine that they've uh, produced in this configuration. What's the capacity? Well, we're talking of an x-axis of 650 millimeter, y-axis 400 millimeter. We can accommodate fixtures or trunnion assemblies uh, one meter by 500 millimeter. So how much bigger is that than what Brother was selling before? How much more capacity is now available as a result of this machine? It's, uh, I would say, 25% more capacity in working envelope. Now, with the result of a machine getting bigger, does that mean it's slower? Is there a compromise in speed? No, no compromise in performance at all. You know, we can still have the same spindles that we've got on many of the machines, the 10,000 RPM with high torque or 16,000 for the aluminium machining. That's important when we talk about speed, but what about how quick the tool change is, how quick the pallet moves or, or, or swaps? Yeah, it's all pretty much the same. The tool change time is 0.9 of a second, chip to chip 1.9 seconds, and a pallet change time of 3.4. And it can perform all those functions at the same time. Pallet change, tool change, and index. So what we're seeing here is an extension in terms of the speed of the Brother machines, just with a much bigger capacity. Yeah, exactly. And this has been a request from our customers. Now, is, is there also a, a change in the weight that you could put onto the table, for example, with the machine being bigger? Yeah, I mean, normally on the twin pallet machines, we're talking uh, 200 kilograms. This has been increased to 300 kilograms. It's a much bigger base, much bigger table area, and can carry a lot more weight. And are these guys world leaders when it comes to high-speed machining? Definitely. Fastest in its class. Well, it's been a real success for White House machine tools, isn't it, the Brother range? Of course. We've been dealing with them now for 20 years. It's a really important product for our business. You know, it, it's the number one seller for us, and, uh, you know, they're building their range year on year. Now, with the speed of the machine, what about the things like the rapids and the acceleration? Have they changed? Rapids are pretty much the same as what they were, 50 metres a minute. The acceleration rates have increased you know, for axis movements and on spindles. And for an example on this machine that's got 16,000 RPM spindle, we've got an acceleration rate of, well, zero to 16,000 in 0.15 of a second. So as a sales argument, would that, would you be saying that you've, there's literally minimal downtime or minimal dead time? Yeah, it's reducing non-cut time. That's what we're looking to achieve. And that's what our customers are wanting to achieve. You know, you examine any machine tool and you look at how much non-cut time there is, it's a big percentage of the overall cycle time. Brother are minimising that, reducing it to the bare minimum. So the R650, where's it fitting? Who's going to buy this machine, Tom? It could be anybody. We, we have a, a popular customer base in the die-cast industry. We're seeing a requirement from that industry for bigger component parts to be able to do multi-face machining, so they need big swing. But also subcontractors, you know, we, we are now uh, replacing what would be conventional BT-40 machines with these high-speed machines. The fact it's not a BT-40, it's a BT-30, is that as the machine gets bigger, can the BT-30 cope with the demands of a bigger machine? Yeah, it can, because again, Brother have developed this, the, the spindle to be much more uh, rigid and robust and also introduced a different motor technology. There's a high torque spindle motor now that which delivers twice the amount of torque. We can U-drill up to 40 millimeter in steel, tap in M24 in steel if need be. So we're looking at engineers that might have looked at Brothers in the past and thought, ideal for me, but just not big enough. This could be the machine. Yeah, and machines will get bigger. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Paul.